Critic Attack is a 2019 TV movie. Does the movie hold up to the previous movies? Is it better than the fourth movie? Well, you find out after this. Good everyone and welcome to another Wednesday night Big Red Movie Reviews and tonight I will be reviewing the fifth and last movie in the Critics franchise. This is Critic Attack from 2019 and we take a run time of check 89 minutes and you could say it's a Big Red Dark Comedy Hall Director the time is Buddy Miller Writer Scott Roddell Some cars I've never even heard of before Well, young cars in this film Got First we've got Tashiana as Washington as Bria, however Preston as Trish Larchie, Jack Fulton as Jack Larchie, Jason Noel as Philip, returning, you know, again in the film, franchise, she started in the first movie, as the mother, Dee Walsh, this time she plays in our character, Dee. Stephen Jing, the Sheriff Lewis Hans, Fire, Murphy, a backpack of Doug, Eric, Seven, a Mandy, Christian D. Beer, a Gregory Saps. And we got, um, Ho Show, a Chef Long, First Thing, a Kevin Long, Tanya Van Granis, Professor Lashi. Take the name, some names to the film. To the plot. Five twenty year old dear who we can't really take a job babysitting for a professor of the college. She hopes to attend, struggle with to entertain the first children, Trisha and Jack, along with her own brother Philip, Drea takes them on a hike, unaware that the mysterious alien creatures have crashed and landed and started devouring every living thing they encounter. First, of all, we're starting with pros. Okay. How does this movie hold up? Is it better than the awful fourth one? Yes, thank goodness. This is how, you know, the fourth one could have been. Either land, you know, in on a space full of people, you know? You know, like how I mentioned that the fourth one, we only had about five actors. This one, they're in a town. The town in South Africa, which of course is Cape Town. How does the critic look? Well, 
the puppetry once again. Alan looked good. We got a new, new queen of the town. He's a female. She looks pretty cool. I mean, she's basically royal, a queen. Exiled for some reason. And she's not with the season, she's a bad one. She's like an attack human. She's like that actually saves people in this film. She basically kills the male critics in this film, which is quite interesting. Then that's when come to the gold count. Like I've seen, there are 10 kills in this film. All done creative, more bloodier than the previous movie. I mean, here in Australia, they got an N rating. More look for the bloody bones and kills. And this is the first movie got an R rating in the US. Seriously, they don't really need to introduce a 15 rating, but this is not a band. This is not a movie that you really go overboard about. The kills in this movie are just a pure. Humor, you know, the, the more like make you laugh, a pure laugh. They're so cheeky, you know, most of them. You know, probably some of the devouring parts probably made a little bit good, but seriously, there's no worse than some of the movies you see, I want to movie see on a picture phone rating. Right? You know, Critic 2 had more, had some some devouring as well. Particularly when Ergo lost his, lost his, um, the other bounty hunter, he, he see him all eat, all eaten, eaten up. He hit different parts like that in this film. Now, the story. Not bad, I mean, way better than the fourth one. And I found it interesting. To the cons, this movie quite cheeky, like I mentioned, with the cheeky dialogue, a lot of cheeky acting, particularly from the young kids. You know, the Lois will take front in as the new bounty hunter. He only shows up from time to time and she basically you up for the queen who she thinks is a threat because you find out she's not a threat because he knows that she basically saved her then she realized she basically can have the more kill the male critic so she'll take a character that will take thrown in You know, this is a typical puppetry movie. Probably find some CGI, but not very really sure. Maybe the gore effects, probably, you know, CGI on it. But it's, some of it's just too, too humorous. And I mean, you, you see these rangers, oh, look at that, oh, what is that, what is that? And then you see could she jumped at him and and jumped at the woman, you know? Think he up to the other ranger got killed in the show. <laughs> uh, yeah, this movie does take no prisoners, you know. Get pretty um bloody, but too comical to even think of how gory it is. More laughing out of most of it. You know, we get a typical critter, you know, bowling, you know, they tend to big John Bow and running over people. This happened in this. There's some guy thinking, oh, he could make it to to a particular place in a certain amount of minutes, but he's the one that got, got killed. Big silly. No, it's blind the bad acting. 
acting um, dialogue, you know, some of the story by the wicked part. Recommendation, where it turns to this. Seriously, I wouldn't mind picking this up. This is a fun movie, really enjoy this. And yeah, I definitely return to this. Do I recommend it? Well, if you like a cheeky monster flick, cheeky acting, cheeky dialogue, you know, really laughable, you know, story and the kills are absolutely laughable. Yeah, this might be up the aisle. But it's not bad. Well I didn't find it was bad. I mean I like the top of movies. So hey son you like know, cheeky movies, so and one thing I like about another thing I liked about this, the kill kinda happened more or less more in the movie starts, so yeah. Not like the fourth one where the kill is only scattered throughout the film in small numbers. Yeah. So um what I what would I grade this? I'll give it seven and ten. Um I had a good time with this. Thank you for checking out my movie of Critic Attack from 2019. If you like what you see, give me a like. And if you need to my channel, great. Join the family and subscribe to my channel.